Uh, hello, it's Miss Rallis here and my tryout has ended and tomorrow I'll be flying home to Denmark and I will be freaking out visa stuff and hopefully I'll be come back as soon as possible. The first thing we want to do with Mr. Rallis is see if he's compatible with the team, both gameplay-wise and um, personality-wise. After a week of so of scrimming, working with him, living with him, um, it was a pretty fair consensus among the players and myself that Mr. Rallis is a good fit for our team and we would love to have him as a sub. So as of now, Mr. Rallis is going back to Germany because it's the end of his tryout phase and Andy is currently negotiating a buyout for him and if that goes through we'll help him get a visa and then he should be back here in a few weeks. So we like initially going to the split we were looking to have a substitute AD carry because Turtle was with us and then Peter was going to come in. Both players at least when Turtle when comparing Turtle and Peter they have distinct ways in which they learn approach the game how fast they're willing to try new things uh, how diverse their play styles is and just the way they approach the game is very different um, and it's sim it's the same with Mr. Rallis and Doublelift they both have a very different approach to the game they react differently to different things that happened and it gives the team and the player a good like step back to be able to play with different styles because it helps like Peter, if he's watching Mr. Rallis, he gets to recognize a lot of other aspects of the game that are going on around him while the game is playing. And he also gets to see what Mr. Rallis does that's really good that he can learn from. And the same thing with Mr. Rallis. When he's seeing Peter um, leading the team in some decision that he's making in game, or if Peter has different opinions about him regarding some matchups or the way things are played, then they can learn from each other. In game, Mr. Rallis, he he's pretty calm. He's generally a calm person, and I didn't really notice him ever tilting, and that's a pretty good sign from like a pro player because you know if something bad happens, you have to be able to I guess keep going at it and not tilt. And I didn't witness any of that from him. I think having a sub adds a lot of things. I think first and foremost, it adds pressure that if you're complacent. Or performing badly or not trying hard uh, you can lose your position permanently almost even and i think it's just good to have someone at least i would like to think if i had a mid lane sub that i would see him as kind of my my comrade my the person that i need to learn along and the person that i can discuss my role with have him give me feedback on when he's watching my screens what i can do better when i'm watching him i can help him with how he can improve and just overall getting the best possible ed or mid or whatever for the team and then working together to improve each other so I think if we can reach that point where the player and sub or the the two people playing the role can think of it not as not fighting each other for the spot but just doing it for the betterment of the team I think that would be really beneficial. When we were trying out Mr. Rallis we were looking at a few things. Uh, the first thing is his in-game mechanics and his communication and his leadership. Those are three aspects of like a player that we were really looking for in a player like him who's been around the scene for a long time. Uh, the next thing we were also looking for is his adaptability and his receptiveness to feedback. In terms of all the game elements, he did really well. Mechanically, he's a very solid player. He's willing to play a very diverse range of champions. And those sort of things are really important to look for in a tryout. Outside of in-game elements, the other reason for him to, for us to bring him out for a tryout is also just how compatible he is with the team, like both the environment, him as a person, how he gets along with us. For the most part, he was pretty shy when he first came in the first few days um, because we were already, all the other players are super close, but he's sort of an outsider coming in. But I think Bjergsen and Dennis really made him feel comfortable in um, just being with the team, and as the weeks as the week went on, he was um, like cracking jokes. He was having a good time. He uh, recommended a few things for us that he wanted to try, etc. Um, and so, both in-game elements and personality-wise with the team, I think Mr. Alves was a really good fit, um, and I think the tryout was pretty good. I want to thank everyone for supporting me. Uh, I've been getting a lot of messages on Facebook and Twitter for with all the support and a lot of nice messages and I just want to say thank you and hopefully you'll get to see more of me.